Harlem is its home, but the world is its stage. Harlem stage is gearing up for a busy season of dance, music, and art. With a brand new CEO and artistic director, Harlem Stage is focusing on freedom. And this summer, audiences are in for a treat. That's right. At least one performer rocks. Divinity Rocks <laughs> is a multi-hyphenate Grammy-nominated musician who has performed for the likes of, you may have heard of this guy, President mm -hmm. Barack Obama. Ah, uh, yes. And, and she toured with Beyonce. I've never heard of that one. That one's I good. hear she's popular, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This season, on you the TikTok. Could see, <laughs> this season, you could see her at Harlem stage. And joining us to talk about all of it is Divinity Rocks herself and Dr. Indira Itwaru. Welcome to New York oh, Living. Thanks, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Gosh, I'm smiling from saying that intro. I well, know. the better times are, are here to come. <laughs> yeah. Here to come. What can we expect from uh, this season, from, from Harlem Stage? It's just going to be an incredible season of bringing artists together like Divinity to really just come and talk about what artistic freedom really means. Mm -hmm. Our new mission to ignite artistic freedom for artists of the global majority. Mm -hmm. The global majority makes up 85% of the global population. Wow. And they're poised to create new works, to challenge us, new ideas and a new world in which all people can flourish. I love this. Now, this is your first season with Harlem Stage. This, this season, uh, Stage has uh, expanded its mission. Can you explain that? Yeah, we really have focused in on what does it mean for an arts organization like Harlem Stage, it's been around for 41 years, to you know throw open its doors, invite artists in, and ask them, you know, what are you thinking about? Mm. We, we're dream catchers in a mm. sense, and we really can um, bring artists together like Divinity, and next week you're going to see her with us for our Uptown Nights Festival. Festival. It's a festival of just bold ideas and new works. She'll be joined by Arden Altino and uh, Justina Miles, the deaf artist who did the interpretation for Rihanna at the Super mm -hmm. Bowl, incredible artist, and a bunch of other artists for the entire week. Um, no New Yorker should miss next week. It really is a moment for artists to just come and speak truth to power. I and love that. this is a moment for that. I'm not an artist and I'm going to go. How about that? <laughs> yeah. You quite literally rock. <laughs> You're a Grammy nominated musician, recording artist, composer, bassist, and musical director for the Queen Bee herself, Beyonce. Yes, I, I traveled with Beyonce for a number of years, and now I've been focusing on uh, making kids' music. I just released an album called Worldwide Play Date. It's about the power oh. of play. Wow. Yes. That's awesome. I love yes. that. Yes. Why, why put your focus on younger folks? You know, young people need to be inspired and uplifted through art. And what better way to do it than share music and art with them? You know, what we do for a living is play. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and when we play together in mm -hmm. harmony, we become better yeah. people. So I just want to share that with young people, share that message, and share that hope. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful, Divinity. When can we see you performing with Harlem? Ah, yeah. we'll be there October 9th, uh -huh. as Indira so eloquently put it. <laughs> she put together an incredible group of artists and musicians for a piece, a world premiere piece. Mm -hmm. uh, hear us. Featuring Arden Altino, yeah. mm -hmm. Moo Fresh, mm. Justina Miles, um, Carl Hancock, Carl Rocks. Hancock Rocks. Oh yeah. man, it's it's such James a Roos. James Roos They're on the drums. They're having their own little kiki over here. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, because we want to invite. You know, I love what Indira's is doing. She's allowing artists to invite God into mm. the room to create what is in our hearts, and that's what we do as artists when we right. get together. Mm. Who better to curate that than Indira? Oh. And to keep it in the community, which and is... to keep it in the community. Yeah. That's so because important. we want our people yeah. to flourish, and oftentimes we That's think, right. okay, we got to go somewhere else, and then we forget to come back home. Yes. But it's always nice Ooh. to come back home. World class art is at home. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I like well that. Said. I like that. Uh, this, the, so you mentioned the centerpiece. That's freedom. Is it a multi-sensory? What's br bring us there? Give us a little sneak peek. What's happening? So next week you're going to hear, um, you know, musicians, spoken word artists, visual arts. But we also want to talk about something coming up in the spring, which okay. is the 10th anniversary of 12 Angry Men and Women: The Weight of the Weight. Mm -hmm. It's a piece that will start in Montgomery, Alabama, mm -hmm. move up the Great Migration Route, and end at Harlem stage on the fifth anniversary to commemorate the death of George Floyd, wow. May 25th. So we'll be taking actors, musicians on the road to tell stories that really do matter. Holy smokes, I just got chills from that. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it sounds like you have a lot of work ahead of you, but it's good work. It's good work. It's the good work. It's the good work. Yeah, Is that it? John Lewis talked That's about, right? That's right. Yeah. Good trouble. That's good right. trouble, Remind yeah. Remind folks where good they can trouble. get their tickets and, yes. all, the, and all the rest. Uh, folks can get their tickets at harlemstage.org, and we are so looking forward to seeing folks there.